Yo, what's good, Grinny Gang? It's Grinny back with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna show y'all some insane pieces that I picked up for this spring season. So in today's video, I wanted to show y'all a handful of pieces that I got for this spring season. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you, bruh. This has some crazy designer pieces in this clothing haul. And y'all know I don't cap when it comes to saying that I got some heat in this haul. So what I need y'all to do is watch the entire video all the way through. Make sure you go down, smash the like button, bro. We like 5,000 away from 100,000 subscribers, bro. So that's crazy. Make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button. And lastly, follow your boy on Instagram. Y'all know all of these pieces is gonna have outfit pictures to go along with it. So make sure you go ahead and follow the boy. But we are gonna go ahead and hop right into the video. And I wanna give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is Farfetch. Now, y'all that have been subscribed to the channel for quite some time now, y'all know Farfetch is my go-to spot. So when it comes to buying designer, Farfetch is one of those places that I always go to first for a couple of different reasons. One, they have the biggest selection of clothing items on their website. So what they do is they source pieces from all around the world at different boutiques and they're able to lay it all out on one website. That way, whatever you want, you can get it off of their website nine times out of 10. Also, we all know that customer service is great and that is a huge plus, especially when it comes down to spending some good amount of money on your clothes, you feel me? So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a heavy hitter, but I did wanna say that that I do also have a discount code Jaden10YT. So you can go ahead and use that code for 10% off of your order. I also have all of the links to everything that I'm gonna show in this video down in the description. So make sure you go down, click those links. It helps me out a ton. Even if you don't wanna buy anything, I do have a link down there that has a personalized selection. So anything that I have bought or that is related to what I have bought, you can still go down there and have a look so make sure you do that but what i'm gonna start off with is this pair of off whites that i picked up off there now these joints is so beautiful bruh i ain't gonna hold you these are called the equipment boots now when you go ahead and open up this very large off white box you are greeted by the tissue paper and then you have your boot now personally i just love boots in general so it's really a no-brainer i will buy boots at almost any time of the year so i went ahead and picked these up just because i feel like spring though is one of those hotter seasons i still feel like a boot can be very necessary when it comes to the shapes and the aesthetics and proportions of your outfit so this boot right here marvelous boot i will say it really has like almost a rick owens type of color palette to it but i think just having a a all solid black boot can never hurt on your wardrobe you feel me so definitely a lot of dope details obviously you have a full leather upper you have this stitched on leather arrow that kind of signifies that this is a off-white pair of shoes but other than that you have a bunch of different standout things like the outsole that has a very spiky rigid type of feel to it you have a couple of different standout details and colors like this a that is like in this neon color in the front of the the tongue and then you also have this like burgundy maroon type color in the inside now definitely a fire boot now one of the things that you probably gonna notice first is the lacing system that you really can adjust to your own liking but they do have this sort of unique push and pull type of method to tying the shoes so it definitely has a really easy going way about keeping your shoes tied but for sure a fire boot now moving on we have an accessory by marine sayer and it is this black balaclava now one thing i was on the search for was one of these like full head mask balaclava type things and i seen one that was a nike one and they kind of didn't have it in any stock at any of the stores that i went to but one day i went into a designer store and i seen this marine sir one and i was like that joint is absolutely fire so my first reaction kind of was to go ahead and check farfetch because i know they might have a wider range of some of the different colorways they might have on there so they did actually have two different colorways actually they might have had three 
but the other ones had like a full marine ser moon print on it but i did end up going with the solid black one just based off i feel like i can go with a lot more items than the full print one but that is it it's really not that complicated this is for sure finna be a nice little go-to you gotta wear a mask anyway so might as well do it in style now moving on i got this ambush shirt now i recently paired the marine ser mask with this ambush shirt on my instagram so if you haven't checked that out make sure you go ahead and smash the like button on that pick but this ambush shirt is so fire for a couple of different reasons it is a cut and sew shirt that has a bunch of different stitchings and panelings on it so it almost has this different type of fit rather than your regular blank t-shirt you feel me and that is why people choose to end up spending a little bit more money for something that is a more custom tailored type design but other than that the wash on the shirt is fire and that is one thing that stands out specifically to my eye when i was shopping on the website so boom got the ambush piece now next up we got two net pieces now y'all already have heard me mention this plenty of times within the past couple of spring summer videos that i made that i'm gonna be picking up some net shirts you feel me so i got these two from Dries Van Noten. Now, I have a couple of different pieces from them. So it was a no brainer when I seen that they made these net tops. So I went ahead and picked up one in this like t-shirt form. And then I also picked it up in this tank top. Now, both of these, I feel like can be styled in quite different ways, but in a huge like versatile type of way. Now, when you first see this, you're probably gonna be like, yo, how am I gonna wear that? Nipples is finna be showing, you feel me? But I definitely think even if you didn't wanna wear this with no shirt under, I think there's a ton of different ways that you can pair with this you can pair it with a jacket over it or you can actually throw this on top of a shirt and it will give it a completely different vibe i'll show you guys some different examples but you got the black one right here and then you have the white tank top now i feel like this is really just nice spring summer vibes to it now the tank top actually hangs a lot lower in that like neck chest type area so it's definitely a different type of look depending on how you want to pair it but i think that it is a fire piece for this spring summer now in the spring summer trends video you hear me talk a lot about jackets now you probably like yo it's gonna be too hot for jackets but i think in that spring season sometimes you do got those chillier days and i think a nice lightweight jacket will for sure end up pairing perfectly with a lot of outfits now this has a very spring type color to it now this jacket is by paria farzane and i feel like the construction of this jacket is so on point and so fired that i had to end up picking it up now i did end up coming across this jacket at a perfect time because it is at a discounted price currently so if you're looking for something like this and you want it for a pretty good price i would go ahead and check that link down in the description i'm gonna leave it down there for y'all but overall fire jacket you have a bunch of different zipper details a bunch of different cargo pockets the hood actually tucks into the collar so you can zip it and tuck it away if you didn't want the hood to show but other than that you do have these symmetrical zippers that kind of just unzip for the aesthetic on both sides so definitely a crazy super technical type of jacket now moving on towards the end of the pickups that i got from farfetch i wanted to hit y'all with a heavy hitter bruh I ain't gonna lie to you, I've been wearing these pants for quite some time and I was finally able to achieve them and they are the zip cargo pants from Rick Owens. Now, these joints, the material combined with the zipper details, combined with the cut and construction, just makes these pants so beautiful, bruh. I got these in a size 50. I'm about six foot. I usually wear a size 32. So went ahead and went with a size 50 and you will be able to see on screen how they end up fitting on me. But, but that was one of the things that I really wanted to make sure that I had with the brick on stuff is that it really fits to my liking. So I went ahead and went with the size, fits perfectly. Now, of course you have some of your signature Rick Owens details like the drawstrings. And of course on the inside, it tells you that that these are from the spring summer 21 season so definitely a fire pair of pants finna be wearing them like crazy i promise you they also come with this velvet rick owens hanger now i haven't owned any rick owens clothing yet so ordering them and finding out that it does come with this hanger was for sure a plus so definitely a fire rick owens piece now continuing with the rick you feel me? I had to go ahead and pick up these Rick Owens Times Montclair padded puffer shorts. Now, these are one of those items that I feel like was a huge spring purchase because these have almost a 
insulated type of feel to them, but they are short. So they're like perfect for the spring, if that makes sense. But went ahead and picked these up. The construction on these are beautiful. It doesn't really have many like different like stitchings and stuff to them. They really are like a solid pair of shorts, but they do have like that different Rick Owens drop crotch type of look. And then they have the Rick Owens Times Montclair logo wing on the left side. So overall, a fire pair of shorts. Definitely gonna be pairing them with a fire outfit. So that is actually all of the stuff from Farfetch. I did want to make sure that you guys again know that you can use my discount code. It will be across the screen. You can use the links down in the description as well if you would like to shop those items. But moving on, I did want to show y'all this mask that I got from my boy over at X War. Now this right here is like a quilted puffer mask and i haven't quite found out how i'm gonna pair this joint with an outfit but just know i'm finna go crazy bro but this mask right here is definitely one of those unique custom designer type of mask i believe he has a couple of different colorways i think he has a red one as well as a pink one so i'll leave all his info down in the description as well but crazy mask i'm telling you bro moving on i got four pieces from Basket Case Gallery. Now, shout out to Basket Case Gallery because I mentioned them in one of my previous YouTube videos, which I believe was like the low, like 10 low key streetwear brands or whatever. So ended up meeting the owner of the brand not too long ago, they had a pop up in LA. So I was able to come through and he showed me a bunch of different like sample pieces that they had going and one of them was these pair of pants right here. And they have this all over print right here which says, I've been trying to find the basket case this whole time. And these joints have like this perfect cursive type of script on it. And they're on a pair of Levi 501s. So got these in a size 32, 32, they fit perfectly. Definitely like a fire spin on this raw denim. So they definitely went crazy with these pants, bro. The next piece that I got from Basket Case Gallery is this brown workwear Dickies jacket. And it has this nice, simple, subtle print of Basket Case Gallery on the front, right? But then on the back, you got this huge, like, red print. I'm not too sure what image this is or what the backstory is behind it but nonetheless like the way that it looks is just a perfect standout color on this brown jacket so definitely a fire jacket lastly from basket case you got this pair right here which is like the pine valley graphic now they do have it on this hoodie which actually is a one of one hoodie they did make this graphic but this specific one is a sample which is why you can see that it's contrast this and that is one of the things that i really liked about it so he was like yeah you can go ahead and take that one and i was like say less so went ahead and grabbed this nice simple forest green hoodie i don't have this color in specific in hoodie so it was a no-brainer for me then i had to pair it with these shorts bruh like if i want to wear this as a combo i can and it just has the pine valley logo down at the bottom left of the shorts so definitely two pieces that i needed in my wardrobe lastly for the pickups haul we got these sweaters that a lot of you guys have been asking about. Now, I wore this sweater in my last vlog, so we kind of already know what that looks like. And then if you follow my Instagram, you would have seen this one already that I posted for Easter. So these two are cardigans that I feel like the crop on the body is what really makes these and what really makes them look unique now we already know that these specific colors are perfect spring colors with a lot of different outfits so this kind of like lavender color is one that i would recommend for show but if you would want a sweater that goes with a lot of different things you have this one as well now these are by the brand rich usi i will kind of like put up their at or something like that i'm not quite sure where you can get them i'll try to find the link and stuff like that but shout out to the boy who sent these out to me they're great they're fire bro but that is pretty much it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy make sure you go down smash the like button if you haven't yet i know a lot of y'all like to wait until the end of the video even though you know it's gonna be fire but i do appreciate y'all for watching and i will be back to you with more videos thanks peace See, bro, my heart, I said, why? I said why? Text the phone.